Hey everyone, it's Ryan here. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video like this. Again, apologies for the poor quality. It is the network that I've got currently. So I guess just have to deal with it. Um, it. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks since I've done a video. I think the last one was my summer plan prediction video. Maybe like two, three weeks ago. Um, but I wanted to make this video. Uh, I should have actually done it about actually eight weeks ago. Uh, it's for the review of my achievement and game score for the month of August 2018 and it's pretty much been the best month that I've um, done I think I think like since starting them or like I'm not sure about ever because obviously I may have done some back in like when I first started my profile um so yeah this definitely been a really good month compared to the rest uh as you know in July, I didn't get as many because I was on holiday for a week in Greece and um, I only got about, I think, 3,700. Like, it was like 56 or something because I have a really annoying number now. But for the month of August, I got 11,615 game score and 368 achievements, which is a lot more than I usually get. I was originally only aiming for about 6,500 just to make up for the uh, 3,500 whatever that I actually got. The fact that I actually got that much, um, I was amazed with like, I only got about 6,500 within like the first two weeks or so. And then I thought, you know what, I'll try to go for about 10,000 maybe. Like, I could possibly do it fine right in. I think I managed to do it by about the 28th of August, and then I managed to just out the way get another like 1,615 after I got 10,000. I just started playing a bunch of new games. Uh, I'm going to go through all the games I've played. I've completed seven in this month, so I'm going to go through them with you. You will have my hands kind of close by because I do have to reach the uh, keyboard. Unfortunately, for some reason, they put the camera down the box. But anyway, uh, if I go through them with you. Uh, so, Onrush was free for a weekend. Um, so, I've got 4,000 games score in that. It's just going to take games pass, which is annoying because. I have one achievement left to get, and I literally played it for 18 hours straight on the Sunday, because by about Monday, 6am, it would have gone off. Uh, finally got it. Uh, connect, no, no, sorry, Disney Rush, uh, uh, Rush, uh, Disney Pixar Adventure, was on the Xbox Games Pass. Uh, I got the 4,000 from that as well. I did get them at the beginning of the month, but then I was a few achievements short, and then my Xbox Games Pass ran out. And then they've just done two months for £2, so I've got that, and I finished it off. Uh, zombie, uh, I think was free. I got it ages ago. Uh, I've got 18 tunes worth 820 game score. Is War 4, got 31 tunes worth 540 game score. Brave on the Xbox 360 was free several months ago. I got 44 achievements worth 1000 game score. Tekken 7 was free for a weekend. I finished that in 11 hours, 4000 game score. Uh, Cube, the Director's Cup was also free several months ago. Uh, I got 19 achievements and 1,000 games for in that. Speedrunners, I've got 14 achievements and 710 games score. Uh, Death Squared, I've got 17 achievements and 465 games score, which was free in August, I think it was, like literally towards the end of August or the game before. Uh, then I had Aka Neo Geo Super Sidekicks. Um, basically, it's a bunch of like, Japanese arcade games, a bit like knockoff of the games. 12 achievements for 1,000 games scores. Some of the games work, some of the games don't, unfortunately. Uh, Beyond Eyes was 10 achievements worth 1,000 games score. L.A. Noir got 17 achievements worth 310 games score. Just finished that off this month because I started that literally at the end of August. Uh, Runbo, 15 achievements worth 150 games score. A Way Out, 2 achievements worth 150 games score. Um, see what else there is worth noting. I think that pretty much be it. Other things have got like one or two achievements in. But yeah, I've still got my achievement streak going strong. Um, biggest achievement I got was, um, Imagination in Beyond Eyes for Find All Nanny Experiences. Basically, Nanny's the cat. You play a girl who's, like, partially blind or something, and basically she knows where she's going based on sounds and surroundings, like, knowing her surroundings and stuff like that. Basically, Nanny's the cat, and she has to go figure out where her cat's gone and all that stuff. Um... Yeah, uh, there's a few hundred ones, but I won't go over them. But yeah, that's pretty much my progress for um, August. Literally every day I've got 
achievement of that June streak going strong. Currently, uh, it's like, because I don't really want to change the page without going like this, but I'm on about, I'm almost at about 500 achievements, I think. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with 368 achievements and 11,615 games scored just for one month. A lot more than I usually do, especially with how much games score I've currently got. I think I just hit my 350,000 games score mark at the beginning, at the end of July, even. Um, but I'm just going to go to my achievement streak quickly, uh, which was, I'm currently on 49 days with 543 achievements. My best one is 106 days with 676, and the only reason that one stops was when I went to go to America. Um, so I'll say I can't even play it while I was over there. So I'm going to try and keep this one going strong, see if I can even surpass the next one in less days. I'm really hoping I can. I am playing a bunch of new games that I've not started yet. Uh, I've just gone back to Trials Fusion so I can get a few achievements on that. I'm playing Snake Pass currently, obviously with Xbox Games Pass, and it's been much easier as well. But that's pretty much my review for.